Mm, all right, zombies, let's get serious. I wanna to talk to you about the best ways to cultivate homegrown organic brains right in your own backyard. Zombies, let's get serious about this brain hunger of yours. Here's the skinny on growing your own delicious organic gray matter right at home. Now, eventually, organ manufacturing technology is gonna catch up with this, and fast food brain printing technology is gonna be right in your own holy kitchen. But for now, brain growing is the ultimate slow food item. So it should come as no surprise to learn that many of the world's more food conscious undead cultivate premium, local grown human brains right in their own backyard nurseries, their cranium cellars, and of course their Brooklyn rooftop gardens. How long we have to wait to feast? Let's break down the facts. Proportionally, human infants pack a rather sizable brain right from the start. Their minds are tiny and underdeveloped, but they account for a whopping 15% of their total body mass. The adult brain, by comparison, accounts for only 2%. But don't harvest too soon, my undead foodies, because the human brain develops pretty rapidly. See, the newborn brain reaches 75% of its adult size within two years and 90% by age six. Just be sure to nurture your prized brain with educational nutrients because ages six to 13 show important development in areas devoted to language and spatial relation. Arguably, mwah, the tastiest bits. But I know what you're thinking, what about vintage brains? Well, for starters, prepare for smaller serving sizes because brain mass tends to decrease after age 21. You will, however, find some specimens that continue to develop well past this point. You just gotta have the right environmental or scholarly stimuli behind it. Just consider the delicacy that is the London cab driver. A 2000 study found that parts of the cabbie's brain continued to grow and change as they committed the urban maze to memory arguably growing more and more delicious. Now, if you're more concerned with taste, and you should be, remember that brain development involves more than mere increases in mass. Left and right brain integration increases with age and a whole host of biochemical changes occur, altering that sweet bouquet of serotonin, dopamine, and glutamate. Meanwhile, rapid decreases in brain mass typically don't kick in until age 80 or so. So yes, those vintage brains in your cranium cellar, they've got some shelf life. And as for my fellow humans out there, Feed your brain, nurture your brain. Think of it as a fine wine that some shambling monstrosity is gonna eventually uncork and devour. How are you at nurturing your brain for eventual consumption? Me, I feed mine a strict diet of uh, science, electronic music, and maybe a few monster movies. But what about you? Love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below. You can leave a video response and be sure to hit subscribe so we can keep more of these videos flowing at you.